The suspects of this act have been headsmen operating in the area and allegedly camped in neighboring Awe local government area of Nasarawa State. For this particular one in Benue State, I can tell you that it's coming from them. Whether they did it directly or they hired, uh, they say Bororo, there are some set of flannies that are militia. Somebody was trying to explain to me, I don't know them, that this one live in the forest. But if you hired them to come and attack us, it is the person that pays for the piper that detects the tune. So it is you that is responsible. In this case, it's Mayati Allah, Captain Horry. It is Fulani Hellsmen. Why are they afraid? They have done it. The attack on the first and what continued after, I give adequate notice. Since June of 2017 was when I wrote to the presidency and wrote to the uh, security agencies of this country of the impending attack, because these people did not hide themselves. They came out openly and said that they were going to attack us. They were going to resist the law and mobilize people from all over the place, full and email all, all over the world, to fight me and my government. I, gave, I raised the alarm, and when nothing was done, I went further and gave a reminder in October, when it was close to the time of the implementation of this law. And I sounded the same warning to the presidency, to the security agencies of this country. And I followed up with verbal reports. Yet nothing was done. This attack came. These people should be arrested and prosecuted. And that will give a lot of confidence because that is the primary responsibility of any responsible government to protect lives and property. Uh, where there are enough evidence. The federal agencies who are security men and are responsible for enforcing the law must come out and do that. I want to believe that the directive of Mr. President that the Inspector General of Police should relocate to Benue State uh, will also ensure the arrest of these people that were already accusing them. We know them, and we know where they are. We know uh, even the militia, the attackers, we know where they are coming from. I still want to insist that they are coming from uh, Tungwa in a local government of Nasarawa State. Mieti Allah has since denied that he threatened any attack on Benue and has denied any involvement with the killings. With so much talk about Tunga in our local government area of Nasarawa State, especially with the allegation of the governor of Benue State that some of the attackers you know, of the villages, especially Guma, local government area in Benue State, have been kept here. Big Story crew decided to come here, here to Nga uh, Chiefdom in Nasarawa State to see, have a first-hand information of some of these suspicions. Tunga is about five hours away by road through Lafia, the capital of Nasarawa State. It's like normal living here. Farming is a major stay and has even attracted a proposed sugar refinery because of the fertility of the soil suitable for large-scale sugar cane, among other crops. The people here say they've been living in peace with Nigerians from other tribes. There is Katu Reara I hear. Those are we are here together with them more than a decade. But the hexmen that they are talking about, that they are attacking them from Tunga, that will keep them purposely in order to go and attack them. What he said is not true. We didn't have them there unless there is some love she's having in the bush that is happening between them due to the anti anti grazy law that he implemented. So it is what caused the planning headsmen are attacking them, they also are attacking them. 